My name is Jo Crail and I'm a cellist and composer from London. I began playing the cello when I was four years old and I studied all the way through um, to university and uh, postgraduate level and then I stopped playing for seven years because I just uh, I didn't enjoy it. I felt very, very long way away from, um, from being a musician. And it was a funny time because I'd always thought I'd be a cellist and so I felt quite disillusioned and I just uh, pursued a different career in the city which I enjoyed very much but um, it would seem that when you get a calling uh, back to music that's what happens and um, so it was a slightly unusual route um, and I went via playing actually in covers band to start with, playing keyboards and then I found myself on stage with a very respected um, singer from the 80s and uh, I was terribly nervous and uh, that was where my career started again. Technology influences my compositions and indeed my performances in a very major way um, because now most of the time uh, when I go on stage I play a Starfish electric cello and I use Boss effects so I use an RC50 loop station which actually you can't get anymore and I use uh, a GT10 effects board which is an effects board for bass guitar. So uh, I use if you like cellistic techniques and so normal techniques of playing a cello but I incorporate into that what is more traditionally the domain of uh, electric guitarists or, or, or bass players, so I have at my disposal hundreds of effects, delays, reverbs, uh, overdrives, distortions, all sorts of things. And then with this loop station, of course the magic <laughs> uh, is that I can record something in and then play it back again and then record over the top and then put something separate on the next one, combine them both, make them run separately, create all manner of, of, of soundscapes if you like. When I was writing Caldera, I was pregnant and I spent a lot of time in quite a meditative state and interestingly the music isn't actually that meditative but for me it's quite earthy and it's quite raw and it's quite, um, it, it's quite bloody in places and it's all these things which are, are not, not only the domain of women but which I feel um, we perhaps as women we understand on, on quite quite a, a, a subconscious level, but it's this basic, it's the connectedness somehow or other. And these are the emotions and feelings that I had when I was pregnant, basically. But there's one song in there called Isla's Song, which I wrote when I, I had given birth. And I used to be up at three and four in the morning, and uh, I'm a terrible singer. And I used to, to hold my little baby, when she's now this great big girl, you know, to hold her in my arms, and I'd sing her name over over, over again as I was rocking. Just this little refrain, and then this became Isla's song. Social media is amazing. I've built my entire career on social media. Thank you, Facebook. I use it to meet people. I use it to connect with people who are interested in my music. And, and it's a, I think it would be very difficult to do what I do, and indeed what some of my colleagues do, without this type of medium. The first thing I was using um, was MySpace, the first inauguration of MySpace. And from that, I met Lucy Daly, um, who is the most amazing jazz singer and who I've since collaborated with several times. And she, this is an example of how useful it is. And we've managed to, she performed concerts in London. I'd go to Belgium to perform concerts with her. Um, I've been able to keep in touch with my Australian fan base very easily. Not Tens uh, is going to be on Saturday, the 7th of February at St. John and Bethnal Green. And it is my dream concert. I've always wanted to play a concert with the cello quartet and I've got the most amazing cello quartet with me and I've arranged basically it's, uh, it's music which, is, which means something to me. So the first half is pieces of music, classical repertoire, which I have arranged for cello quartet. Um, stuff from Bartok to Shine to Nine Nails, uh, all sorts of different pieces. Then a couple of my own pieces with guest musicians. And then the second half of the concert for me uh, is much more standard, so it's me with my electric cello and loops effects. And we're also premiering um, a big piece I've just finished writing for an Australian filmmaker, Michael Fletcher. The reason I called it Nocturnes is because uh, it reflects, first of all, the fact that these days I do a lot of writing, practicing, playing at night. <laughs> and also, all these pieces, for me, were associated, or are, or have been associated with the, the, the energy of the night and the moon. And it might sound a little bit mystical, but that's an energy that I... I use when I write and the piece that I'm premiering that is, is infused with this, this energy. 
After Nocturne's concert, I'm off on my fourth tour of Australia. So I'll be um, starting in Adelaide and ending in Perth and Dunsborough. And then I've got some really nice London concerts planned and uh, quite a few in Europe as well. And I hope to be able to go back to Poland to play another concert with um, Capella Gedelensis as well. So watch this space.